I'm Shauna. This is Curtis. I'm Chad. What I thought I knew about childbirth was completely wrong, and the class was very nice to show me what actually happens. I've learned from the class that it doesn't matter how it happens, like you just have to kind of relax and go with it. Yeah. It's not always about what you want, and the more you stress about it, the worse it's gonna be. You learned that after though. <laughs> you just gotta go with the flow. Yeah. And I'm Teal Rosenquist, and this is Casey Rosenquist. So the number one thing that I took from hypnobirthing was that I wasn't sick. And pregnancy and birth is not a condition, it's not a problem, it's something natural, it's something beautiful. So instead of going into the hospital and feeling like I was about to have this terrible procedure or that I needed to be treated, I went into it thinking, you know, I have this, my husband and I, my body, you know, we know what we're doing, this is supposed to happen. And it was really a big paradigm shift for me to go from thinking that, you know, I was sick and I needed to be cured to that I was just going to be there for this miracle and that I was giving my son a beautiful birthday and that it was about him and I and our family and not about, you know, medicine and, and the hospital. So that was really awesome for me. Um, he was five weeks early. So I, my water broke um, on a Tuesday morning and I was pretty afraid because that wasn't, you know, to plan obviously and there can be complications when it's early. But I remember Care saying in one of the classes that, um, you know, things don't always go exactly how you think they will but you can still give your child a beautiful birthday. And so that was my plan. My husband and I kept saying, you know, we've learned to prepare for the worst and it's going to be okay. And I kept telling all the nurses and doctors, we really feel like it's going to be okay. We'd like you to, you know, kind of join us in that attitude of not talking about the worst thing that could happen and not acting like this is an emergency because plenty of babies are born at 35 weeks and are fine. And in fact, he didn't even have to go, thank you. Are you helping me? He didn't even have to go to NICU um, because I feel like through hypnobirthing I was really empowered to talk about what I wanted and instead of just going along with the doctors when they said, okay, you know, you had your like hour to bond, like we're going to take the baby to NICU now. And I said, well, why? And they're like, well, because you know, when they're born this early, we like to take them. And I said, well, you know, if you have a medical condition that you can identify, then you can have it. If he has problems with his blood uh, sugar or his oxygen saturation or whatever it is, then you can take him if he needs to go to NICU, but you can't just take him because he's little. You know, small is not a medical diagnosis. He's, he's fine. And they kept saying, okay, well, we're going to ch check his ox oxygen stats. And once we do that, like, we're going to have to take him. But then they checked them and they were fine and he got to stay with me. Okay, well, we're going to check his blood sugar now. And, you know, they checked him and it was fine and he got to stay with me. And that just kept being the thing that happened is they kept warning me that they were going to take him from me and they never had to and i think that without hypnobirthing i wouldn't have been empowered to kind of say i know that this is what you want to do but this is our family's plan and you know stand up for ourselves a little bit so it was awesome i'm diana there were a lot of takeaways. Uh, one was a lot of emotional support. The class, we talked through a lot of fears. Um, there was a lot of sharing among the group, so feeling like you could relate to other people. Then just even the technical aspects of birth took away a lot of that. And then even regardless of what type of birth you were planning, since there was information about a hospital and a lot of the different processes and things in other parts of the world, uh, I felt like I was prepared for not only our home birth, but if we weren't going to have a home birth, what it might be like in the hospital and how to make the hospital situation work for us and more comfortable and closer to what we wanted, which is what happened. Um, 
because we had intended a home birth and then it didn't go as planned. So it really started out great how we set up the environment in the hospital and had the hospital staff on our side, but still had our midwife and doula there, so that was amazing. If we hadn't had that help, we would, uh, we would have not known what to do because we were kind of arrogant that we were going to have our plan exactly the way we thought it would be. And it didn't quite work out that way, but thanks to the class, we learned a lot about how to deal with it. We had a lot of stuff prepared, and I knew a lot of stuff I wouldn't have known otherwise. If you like this video, share it with a friend and subscribe to our page. And for more information, go to birtheducationcenter.com to help rewrite your birth.